And we're not talking about something like being born again or meeting the flying saucers or something like that, where good works and prayer are the method. No, if you take a sufficient dose of an active compound, it will deliver itself to you on the money. If it doesn't work, take more. Nobody is in a position to dismiss this just because it didn't work for them in one or two tries. This is an art. It, it is an art. It is acquired. This is part of your birthright, perhaps the most important part of your birthright. These substances will deliver. It is the confoundment of the psychology and science generally, and that is why it's so touchy for cultural institutions. But you're not a cultural institution. You're a free and independent human being, and these things have your name written on them in big gold letters. Yes, over here. The way I think of these psychedelics, or a different way, is that they are catalysts for the imagination. Catalysts to say what has never been said, to see what has never been seen, to draw, paint, sing, sculpt, dance, and act what has never before been done, to push the envelope of creativity and language. And what is really important here is what I call the felt presence of direct experience, which is a fancy term which just simply means we have to stop consuming our culture. We have to create culture. Don't watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own road show. The, the uh, nexus of space and time, where you are now, is the most immediate sector of your universe. And if you're worrying about Michael Jackson or Bill Clinton or this and that, th then you're disempowered. You're giving it all the way to icons, icons which are maintained by an electronic media. So, you know, you want to dress like X or have lips like Y or this. This is, this is shit-brained, this kind of thinking. That is all cultural diversion. And what is real is your highs, your lows, your orgasms, your hopes, your plans, your fears. And we're told, no, you're unimportant. You're peripheral. Get a job. Get a degree get a this, get a that, and then you'll be a player. You don't even want to play in that game. You want to reclaim your mind from the hands of the cultural engineers who want to turn you into a half-baked moron consuming all this trash that's being manufactured out of the bones of a dying world. Where is that at?